Hey everyone, Nick from Nick's Crossing here. Welcome back to the train room for an awesome reveal today. Went to the Great Scale Train Show, picked up some awesome goodies, so let's get into this. Here we go, all aboard. All right guys, so before we get into this awesome show stash behind me, I wanted to talk about the Great Scale Train Show. Now, I've been going to the show now for about 20 plus years. Not exactly sure how long that show's been running, but it has been going on for a long time. Now, the Great Scale Train Show has a little bit for everyone. That's what I like about this show. So if you're into like N scale, H O S O G, um, you're, you're going to be covered. You got stuff there to look at and you'll see maybe a layout or two in your scale, which is really cool. Now, the best part about the show, in my opinion, as I got older is to honestly look at the layouts that are there. There are so many layouts there. There's probably about 25 to 30 layouts just all over the place uh, within displays or in the uh, North Hall there. And it is just amazing to see what these guys are doing with these layouts. One of the layouts I went to actually had an Amherst winning um, module. So I thought that was really cool. And also had a really nice Pennsylvania coal drag. So I love coal. Had to film that. And it was just an amazing experience there. If you guys are interested in seeing the layouts of this past show... Uh, check that out in the description of this video. It will be there. I just posted a video the other day of that. So um, lots of videos coming out from this show. Now, I wasn't able to film all the layouts from the show. I do apologize. Uh, I missed out on the DC High Railers and the National Capital High Railer Club and also some of the other smaller layouts. So uh, I kind of ran out of time. Those guys were packing up at like 4.15, 4.30. And by the time I got to that section of the show... They are already packed up. They're already like, um, I don't know, like sheets or covers over top of their rolling stock and things like that. So I missed out on those. But I have filmed them in the past. Both are excellent clubs. Both of them have excellent pieces that are either um, in their modules or what they have running on their layout. So uh, just a shout out to those guys there. But anyways, guys, I picked up some awesome pieces, all of it O scale. And uh, I'm going to bring them over to you guys and let's just get into this awesome unboxing. All right, guys, so the first item that I picked up from the train show is actually this little box right here. Now, I got a really cool deal on these. When these came out, they're probably about $30 or so, just like your Woodland Scenics figurines. And these are really well detailed. Now, I had to have these after going to Harry Henning's layout, and he had the Lionel Lion right there. I just had to have it. But we have some other people in here, girl holding uh, cotton candy. This boy looks like he's terrified from the clowns. And we also have two clowns, so... This little box set I got for 10 bucks at the show. Yeah, $10. So I can't complain about that. Um, I'm going to probably put the Lionel Lion in the station behind me. Maybe greeting guests. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. And the other people, I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I need like a carnival ride or something now. So um, yeah, maybe in the future. But it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So the next piece I picked up at the show is actually a Conrail piece. And I was so surprised to find any Conrail at the show. Because that stuff goes quick. Usually it's like one of the first things to go at a train show. Any Conrail, Penn Central, uh, Pennsylvania Railroad stuff, it, it's gone. So picked up this awesome car right here. It's brand new pretty much. It's from 2015. And it is a, um, I believe it's a little bit larger than traditional scale. But it is pretty sweet. And uh, rolls great. Actually has metal die cast trucks, operating couplers, sprung trucks. So she's got it all. Now, my only complaint with this beautiful car is it's very touchy. So the plunger right here, just barely pulling that down, will actually throw the load. So uh, it's very touchy. It's like a hair trigger on this thing. So what I might have to do is actually put a zip tie uh, underneath the frame here around the body just so I can run the car. I currently do not have an activator track anyways. So I just want to run the car and enjoy it without it just flying open on my railroad. So, uh, yeah, it's a really cool car, but I have to do that little uh, janky modification there just to get her through. But other than that, it's a cool car for 20 bucks. I just could not pass it up. So uh, next, I'm going to grab another car. And as I sit this car down, it's going to probably fly open. So, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, the next car is actually an MTH piece I picked up at the show for a fantastic price. Got it for 40 bucks. And this thing is just immaculate. I bought a similar car from Cool Trains up in Lancaster County recently to run with my REA Express train with uh, Madison passenger cars. This one actually fits with the set, so it looks awesome all together. And uh, this car is an REA Express reefer with the PRR paint scheme and logo on the side. So it's in the livery. So check that out. And this car is super clean. 
I don't think it's ever ran before. Um, it just looks like it's brand new. Now these cars are super detailed. All the hatches on the roof open up, so like right here, you have to take this little lever off. And then this flips up right there. It's like an ice hatch on top. And to close it up, you actually have to put this lever back over. Pretty crazy. Um, each side also has these uh, cushions. They're sprung, so they go inside. Um, also have glad hands on the couplers right there. Sprung trucks with the correct uh, journal boxes and everything. The doors open up, so let's see if we can get this one open. These are really fragile, so you got to be careful. But the doors open on these. If I can get it. There we go. It's never been opened before. They open up, and then the latch actually latches over the other door. So you close that, close this, and then this little latch in the middle there gets locked in. Make sure it's right. Yep. So that all gets locked in place. And on the uh, other side of the car where the brake wheel's at, the brake wheel actually has a real chain. So this chain right here is an actual link chain that's uh, part of the model. So it's really detailed. Now these cars roll like butter, and they look fantastic behind a uh, set of passenger cars. So glad to have this in the collection. I now have three scale REA Express cars. I have a semi-scale one. I like running with... Uh, my uh, Williams semi-scale Madison cars, it looks fantastic. I think that car is a Williams as well. But these cars are just cool. I love the history behind them, and uh, it's cool to have reefers on your train. So, yeah. So we'll get into the other boxes right here. i got to do some unwrapping real quick, and we'll get into those. All right, guys, the next piece I've been after for a long time. After going over to my buddy Sean's train depot's house, and we were kind of joking back and forth, and he has one of these cars with the sound in them. So... I was like, Sean, I don't have one of those cars. He's like, how can you not have one of these cars, I'm not giving away the name quite yet, and call yourself a model railroader? So I thought that was so funny. So I ended up picking up a standard O box car of this. And this car is just beautiful. It's never ran before. It's brand new out of the box. Got it for 20 bucks. And the gentleman at the stand actually had one in the semi-scale or traditional scale and also the standard O. The box was kind of confusing. It did not say standard O. Sometimes you'll see that on the box. Like some of my Conrail cars or my B&O uh, Sentinel car says like standard O. So I kind of compared them and I said, you know what? For 20 bucks, I'll take a gamble on it. So for 20 bucks, I got this beautiful car. This thing is awesome. Got a standard O, State of Maine, uh, Bangor, and a Rustic car right here. Like all you guys have out there. <laughs> so I finally got one. Uh, really excited to have this car. I love the red, white, and blue, and um, it is awesome. It is a beautiful car, and I uh, can't wait to have this on the railroad. So the doors open. It's like a classic Lionel box car. This says 1995, so almost as old as me right there, and uh, it's brand new. Now, I gave it away just to show you guys. Uh, underneath, you can see that detailing there with the brakes and the brake cylinder, all the framing, the couplers are underneath the box car they're not like you know completely squared up with it so that's what kind of gave this away as a standard o car and when i took it out of the box the couplers could swing underneath the car like that so that's another uh kind of giveaway right there so i thought that was interesting i'm like yeah you know it's probably standard o so we'll get it this thing rolls like butter i love this car and it is just one of those classic cars i don't have any other state of main cars on the layout but Looks pretty cool to me. So, uh, got a state of main car finally. It's been 20 plus years without a state of main car. Finally got one. All right, guys, the most important piece of this entire show stash is actually this right here. This is a new old stock TMCC remote, still with the box right here. And I got it for 40 bucks. Yeah, $40. I could not believe it. Everything works on it, and it works better than my daily driver remote, which is right here. So this remote has been through a lot with me. When I first bought it, the antenna was chopped down. So I bought a new antenna for, it's like 12, 13 bucks on eBay or trains. That antenna fell apart. Uh, I was sitting here uh, not too long ago and the remote was just sitting on my, my desk right here. And I heard some ping noises and the antenna totally just split apart. So I was like, okay, whatever. So at the last train show, I bought another TMCC remote the guy swore it worked, but there was all kinds of funk inside that remote. Like someone spilled like a rum and coke or a coffee in there, and it was nasty. The keypad did not work. The membrane was all like sticky and all that. So I took it apart, 
and I actually got the uh, antenna out of that one, which is right here. So I'm using that as my daily driver. So it's been working. It's not the same, but uh, the other remote was totally trash. I just use it for some parts, maybe like the battery case or whatever if I need it. So um, got two remotes now, and I can't complain. Got this one for 40 bucks, and it works great. I mean, this one's like super responsive too. So like I already have power there. The halt button works. And it's just a fantastic remote. So here's two track, got power on that already. So pretty amazing uh, how those work. And these are from 1995 and they're still kicking. I currently don't have a legacy system. I'm probably not going to get one for a while unless I strike oil or the lottery. So we'll see what happens. But this is what I'm using as of right now. All right, guys, we could run some of these brand new cars and I'm gonna hook them up with my uh, Camelback Probably add some other REA Express cars in there and make it kind of like an REA Express train. And the ballast car, I'm going to leave in a siding because it is springy. Like, I was sitting here filming the last little bit right here, and it just sprung open by itself. Kind of scaring the crap out of me, but it is what it is. So I will probably put a zip tie on that just to hold her down. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably store it in a siding for now. So here we go, guys. All aboard. do it for this video unboxing these awesome trains from the great scale train show in Timonium, Maryland. Love this show. It's always a great time going out there, hanging out with friends. And you guys are also probably saying, Nick, you didn't buy any Weaver cars. What the heck? I honestly could not find any Weaver cars for me. Uh, I'm looking for Pennsylvania hoppers, Conroe cars, odd cars, things like that. Kind of like this uh, Strasburg railroad car sitting here. That's definitely a winner car right there, but could not find anything. Uh, some guy was trying to sell hoppers for like 93 bucks a piece. They're like the wood sided with the painted trucks. Like I'm not paying $93 a piece for a Weaver or hopper. Sorry, but it is what it is. But anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, always consider subscribing. Give the video one of these really helps. Love reading the comments. Stay tuned for other future videos coming out this week. Until next time, everyone, happy railroading. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. See you guys.